You might have noticed these weird icons when buying new players or hiring for your youth academy, but what exactly are they? Player traits can have a huge impact on your team, they can provide you with unique players and they can help you win more matches. Today I'll let you know which ones to look out for, but first, what exactly are player traits? Traits are exactly what they sound like, they are ways of representing the personality of a player. Someone who does lots of tricks in real life might have the flair trait in FIFA. Someone who jumps into tackles a lot in real life might have dives into tackles trait on FIFA. The majority of the traits in FIFA are good, for example saves with feet greatly increases the chance of a save in a one on one situation, but there are some that you need to avoid, we'll go into more depth here later, but one obvious one is the injury prone trait, this makes players need time out of matches for smaller collisions. Ok so now you know the basics of what traits are, how can a trait help you win a match, let alone the claim that traits can win entire titles. The easiest representation of a positive impact from a trait can be from the second win trait. This trait gives extra stamina to players in the last 30 minutes of games. If you're playing any kind of press, you'll be familiar with having the feeling of slow and sluggish players towards the end of matches. Having a few players with this trait can not only help you keep the press going, but it can help you counter attack and might win you one or two games each season. There are some trait combinations that work really well together. Having a fullback with the giant throwing trait will allow them to hurl the ball really far in the box. If you've also got a striker with the power header trait, they'll be more likely to generate extra power from any headers and therefore will make every single throw in a potential goal scoring opportunity. You get the picture now that a few traits are clearly better than others. The amount of outside foot shots that a centre back might have is so small that there's no point really looking for that kind of trait on that kind of player. However, a power header centre back might be able to add 5 goals a season if you know how to take a set piece. But which traits are overall the best over the course of an entire season? I found the 5 best traits to help you get that little bit extra you need to win a close title race. Starting with the 5th best in my opinion, for career mode it's one club player. If you're lucky enough to get an academy member with the one club player trait, you need to make sure you keep them for your entire save. In fact it might actually be difficult to get rid of them if you don't want them. Certain real life players had this trait in the past, Messi at Barcelona was the best example. He was a player you could never see leaving the club. So why exactly is this trait so good? It basically means you can overtrain and overdevelop any player, with basically no risk of the AI meeting a release clause or stealing them away from you. The loyalty boost means that a 90 rated player would be happy to stay with you even if you're in League 2, and you should be loyal back. If you want to role play, I think you should definitely give the players with this trait the captaincy, because I think they would definitely be a Francesco Totti level fan favourite. While the one club player trait is probably the coolest one in game, it doesn't actually impact the game itself. Our fourth best trait, outside foot shot, definitely does. Normally this trait doesn't matter too much on FIFA, but in FIFA 23 this trait guarantees at least 10 goals a season on any decent winger. With the way that Traveller shots are on this year's game, they have increased accuracy and frequency which means you can take them on in the most unlikely opportunities and pull them off in almost every single game. Once you realise how to pull one of these shots off, with this trait you'll be non-stop attempting to try some outrageous goals because the amount of curve, power and accuracy they have on FIFA 23 is off the charts. For a similar reason I really rate the finesse shots trait as the third best one for career mode. If you can manage to pick up a striker with this trait, or find a good young player who can consistently hit finesse shots from the edge of the box, you'll be almost certain to score when you're through one on one. One thing people might not know is that all shot error is actually ignored whenever you use a finesse shot. This means that if the ball's bobbling up or you're in a really difficult spot, the game will add shot error to make it believable that it was a tough shot. However, if you press finesse, then this all goes away. The player's stats are the only thing that will impact the shot, so if you get a high finishing player, they can shoot just like Thierry Henry from almost any position, and again, this is guaranteed an extra 5-10 goals per season. 
almost every one-on-one -on -one you get will be a goal and you'll be able to pop them in from the edge of the box. Definitely a worthwhile trait to invest in. So, so far we've had one personality trait, the one club man, we've had two shooting traits with the Travella and the finesse shot, and the second best trait in my opinion is only used to set up chances. The swerved pass trait allows players to use both sides of their boot to pass the ball exactly where you aim. Not only does it increase the amount of options your player will have to find the target, but they'll also get more curve on any finesse shots and be able to play passes around defenders, as well as make long distance defense splitting Traveller passes. This trait can be a real game changer, especially if you have a player with high vision or really high short passing. While this trait might not be used as much as the finesse shot, it does actually enhance it. Another example where this trait is super good is if you're trying to break down a tough team in a really difficult match. You might only have a couple of players out wide, the AI is marking or pressing, you can just curl a ball out to them and then they can get the cross in. You can bet that a good attacking midfielder with this trait will help you win at least a few points every single season. And finally, the trait that I think will help you to win the most games just by having one in the team is definitely the power header trait. Think about how many crosses and corners you get each game. Having this trait increases the chances of one of them getting their head to the ball and also increases the amount of power that they will generate from the header. This means that anything from the six yard box, which is where they usually stand for corners, is going to probably be a goal. If you can find someone like Lorenzo Luca, the six foot six Italian striker with this trait, every single corner you have is going to be dangerous. That provides an extra chance of scoring every few minutes, something that will definitely win you games, and in my opinion, win you more games than any other trait in the game. On the defensive side of things, saves with feet is another good strong contender to be the best trait in the game. It'll help you play at a higher line because if you go higher up the pitch, you're more likely to be conceding one-on-one -on -one opportunities and by playing higher up the pitch, you'll win the ball higher up the pitch and have more chances at scoring goals. There's also a lot of good trait combinations that probably could have made it on this list. They work really well together. I mentioned a few at the start of this video, but swerved passes plus beats the offside trap is really useful for counter-attack teams if you have one on your attacking midfielder and one on your striker. And saves with feet as well as comes for crosses can help you build the perfect sweeper keeper in goal. Make sure you let me know your favourite FIFA traits in the comments below and if you've spotted any mistakes with anything I've said about any traits, make sure you let me know that as well. But thank you all for watching, make sure you subscribe for more like this and I'll see you soon. Thanks and goodbye.